Hi, and welcome back. I'm Dr. Patrick Kingsep. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you today about do we all need to be a little more grateful? Now, mindfulness teaches us to have open awareness of the full spectrum of experiences in life. Now, this includes the positive, the negative, and the neutral. It teaches us to view ourselves, others, and the world around us with a sense of curiosity, non-judgment, and acceptance. Now, many of us go through life seeing only what we want to see or we're focused on the negatives we see in others, ourselves and others um, and, and the world around us. The mindfulness teaches us to take judgment out of the equation and observe what is happening with full awareness. When you actively apply this similar attitude of mindfulness to gratitude, you may find that you become aware of far more qualities of yourself, others, and the world for which to be grateful. So gratitude and mindfulness are intrinsically linked. So what stops us mindfully being aware of all we have to be grateful for in this life, in this world around us? Perhaps it's the feel of the warm sun on your skin when you walk through the park on your way to work, or your child wanting to show you a picture that they drew at school when you were too busy to put down the washing or your partner's loving touch when you're focused on reading the newspaper. We all have these moments to be grateful for during our day, but they often pass us by unnoticed in the, the busyness of life. We need to open our eyes and hearts to being more present and aware on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is a choice. We can choose to cultivate this and practice this daily. But what about my hectic social calendar, fitness commitments, household tasks, work, or study responsibilities? I'm juggling so many things each day and barely have time to do what I need to do. Now it's, it's true, today's world is so fast paced and busy and there's more emphasis and accolades placed on doing rather than being. It is so true that most of us are attempting to keep our heads above water and balance the demands of life. Consumerism is, look, it's a, it's a really big part of life. Everywhere we turn, we're reminded of the fact of how little we do have rather than how much we have to be grateful for. In a society that's governed by the haves versus the have-nots, Money is all-powerful, and we're taught that money brings freedom, security, and power. It's easy to be ungrateful. Many of us are working long hours, feel unable to get ahead in life, and experiencing heartache or financial turmoil. And it's very easy to get disillusioned and not be grateful. There are always ways we can become grateful for the things we have in our lives, even in difficult times. Gratitude is quite possibly the most direct path towards feeling better and more connected with life. Challenges in life can help us to view others and others in the world in a new light to gain alternative perspectives. Challenges in life can help us to view ourselves others and the world in a new light to gain alternative perspectives. The problems can shake us up, so to speak, and encourage us to see the small things we're taking for granted and now means so much. Practicing gratitude at times of turmoil in life can be difficult, but will anchor us to what's important and what we need to focus on. Now, gratitude does not mean trying to convince ourselves that life is excellent, everything is good, and that stresses and challenges, look, <laughs> they don't even exist. Cultivating gratitude in your life involves placing your awareness and attention on what you appreciate. 
you are not trying to ignore the problematic aspects of life, but trying to view these difficulties and challenges with a different perspective. Being grateful for things in life can soften us and bring us back to the appreciation of often the small things in day-to-day -day life that we often so often overlook. Stuff we just take for granted. It connects us to what is essential in our life. But given the current climate and happenings in the world and the instability and fear that many of us feel, there is no better time than now to start your mindful gratitude journey. We need to continually remind ourselves of the importance of gratitude and the benefits of cultivating this practice in our daily life. Now, I want to make this clear. I'm not proposing that gratitude will come effortlessly or even naturally. It's something that requires constant dedicated practice and perseverance, particularly in turbulent times. But as you develop your regular practice of gratitude, you will undoubtedly see the benefits it has in your life and those around you. Being grateful is most definitely, look, it's, it's a choice. As well, gratefulness is relatively safe to the losses and gains that flow in and out of our lives. When disaster strikes, Gratitude provides a perspective from which we can view life in an entirely and not be so entirely overwhelmed with temporary circumstances. Yes, this perspective is, is hard to achieve, but it just takes the first step towards it and you're on your way. Make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe to receive my posts regularly on all things mindful. Check out my Facebook and also my Instagram page and also check out the YouTube channel, Mind Life Flow, your gateway to a new life in flow. Now, thanks very much for listening. And I trust that you're able to be mindfully grateful. Bye for now.